You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He's been on the program before, and he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have board-certified oral surgeon, Dr. Michael Picos, because you are known all over the world. I mean, you know, I was telling my team, I said, you know, I guess if you're a specialist, everyone knows Dr. Mike Picos, Michael Picos. Um, does it cost more to go to somebody at the top of their game like you? You know, ironically, you would think intuitively the answer would be yes, but it's no. And in fact, to some degree, it may be less because of the following reason. Our technology is so great now that who wouldn't want things to be done, quote unquote, really well the first time. one time? Yes, the first time. We should mention Medicare, Medicaid does not cover dental implant dentistry. Uh, and even with the best dental insurance, from my understanding, it only covers a very small part of this. So what's the answer? What, what, uh, what do you do? Well, basically, um, that is reality, by the way, but the good news is that we offer financing. In fact, it's, folks take advantage of that all the time. So they are financing these procedures? Oh, absolutely, sure. In fact, it's probably the best, one of the best investments they can make because it's an investment in themselves. And unlike a car that's going to wear and be gone, this is something that's an investment for, well, the implants will outlive the patient, generally speaking. The teeth are like tires on a car. They're gonna wear, they get to be replaced, but in the big scheme of things, that's not a big deal. Now, where you are, are there a lot of people wearing dentures or headed to dentures? Oh, absolutely. I mean, goodness, we could probably fill Raymond James Stadium and Tropicana Field uh, back in uh, Florida where I'm at in Tampa Bay with 10 times the capacity of people that are in that category because literally nationwide, there are over almost 60 million people right? without one or both arches of teeth, meaning they're wearing a denture in one jaw or both jaws, almost 60 million, six zero. So absolutely, we have a lot of folks that are into that category, fit in that category. Well, well if dental implants are so good, you know, getting your teeth back with, with dental implants, why aren't they all doing it? What's your take? You know, that's an interesting question. Uh, you would think, you would think with all the advertising that goes on, all the marketing, that most anybody would want to run in and get things done like yesterday. The reality is at least four, maybe five good reasons that the average patient that wears dentures doesn't come in. Number one, probably the most important one, is that these folks are in kind of a a world of their own. Once we're they about, get we're talking about denture wears. Denture right wears. Okay. Once they get their dentures, it's almost like a closed society for them. They feel in their mind they don't really need to come back and see a dentist again because they have no teeth. W what's dentistry about teeth? I have no teeth, so I don't have to come in anymore. Well, because of that, they don't even know the options that we can offer them. So, Randy, the last thing they want to do is come and see an oral surgeon of all people because, listen, <laughs> yeah. the teeth are out. Why do I need surgery? And why, do, why would I want to go to a general dentist? Because I've got dentures now. So they don't even know their options, unfortunately. However, if they were able to come into the office, and, of course, we can explain what the options are with implants, etc. Now, number two reason which kind of goes hand in hand with number one, is that the fact that they are in this own little world, they've learned to what? Adapt, accommodate. The human body is an amazing entity in, in and of itself to do that. So what I mean by that is they, in their own mind, sometimes just, just rationalize so much that they feel with their dentures, they can't eat all the foods that you and I can. We take for granted we've got great teeth. So therefore, they're chewing foods that are, you know, soft in nature, et cetera. They, in other words, they're limited, but in their own mind, that's reality, and therefore... Doesn't have to be that way. It's unfortunate, sure. So think about this, Randy. If you were a denture patient now, you would probably remember why it came down to that, meaning you can't possibly forget the 35 to 40 or more visits over a lifetime back and forth to the dentist, uh, root canals, gum surgery, um, veneers, crowns, you name it, and inevitably things start falling apart, the last thing you want to do is go back to a dentist. So basically, why do it? It's hard to get them back in. It is hard. 
And of course, another good reason is, is cost. And unfortunately, a lot of our patients think that, you know, it takes an implant per tooth to, to replace everything that they have lost. And unfortunately, that's not true. Um, or I should say, fortunately, it's not true because as few as four or even five implants can hold 12 teeth in either jaw permanently.